Well then. Well then. Well then. Hi everybody. It's Ian. I'm back. And so is Jay. Right? Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. <laughs> hey, that was a few episodes ago. You can't redo that. Yes I can. You're stealing content from me. Come on. Fine, I'll I'll do something else. Hey, how's it going, bros? My name is Pippa. Sorry. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I hate us. I hate us with a passion. How do we have anybody who watches our content? I think they're all. So if you guys are somehow like sadder than me and I and his people, <laughs> like if you guys are somehow less entertaining than me and I and his people, then I really. <laughs> I am so fucking scared for the human race. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, it's probably all one person who's just, like, trolling us and made multiple accounts. If that actually, if someone actually did that to us, I would be so upset. Like, if I the, would be upset, but also laughing. Um, oh no, I'd be dying, crying. but, like, at the same time, I'd be like, no! <laughs> I thought I wasn't worthless for a change. Nah, you're always worthless. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, you're mm. right. It's true. It's fine. I've been called out. I've been called out, and I don't feel okay <laughs> about it. All right, before we spend too much time being self-deprecating and shit, um, Homestuck. Yeah, so Homestuck. Um, last time, Jay and I were pretty tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's this little thing where my schedule is completely set. Yo, Jay, you know all your dreams of being a successful YouTuber? No, you can only record it around 9 o'clock at night, and then it goes on until, like, 12. Um. Yeah, so, basically, I've decided to drink caffeine before these sessions. So, basically, I, I've gained a cocaine addiction. It's the only way that I can stay functioning <laughs> long enough for, for this to work. Oh, my God. God damn it, Jay. Stop right. laughing at me and my addiction, okay? I'm working on it. Um... Yeah, so, the things happened last time, um, <coughs> and I don't exactly remember all of them. <coughs> you okay, Jay? God <coughs> Are you alive? No. <coughs> Sorry, choked on my sun drop. Keep oh, going, no. keep going. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, things happened last time, and I don't remember what they are, so let's, let's, let's go look at those real quick. Um, so Rose was talking to, uh, who was she talking to? She was talking to Doc Scratch, um, and then she was, like, asking the magic cue ball for what she should do next. And the cue ball was like, go answer Jade, and she's been ignoring all these people. So she's like, fine, I'll go answer Jade, and that's what we're going to do this episode. Um, before that, I remember there was a lot of dream shenanigans, and we were being Doc Scratch for a while, and we saw, like... Spades Slick Enter Jack's Doc Scratch not Jack. <coughs> yeah. Spades Slick is Jack. Uh, um, Doc Scratch's place or whatever. Um, don't worry too much. Like, I, like the only reason I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go check like, like go through that like right now, uh, is because um, it'll come back to us anything that's important most likely. And if not, then I'll yell at myself and and uh, and post. Yeah, um, but and you know, me I still need well to edit the last three episodes as as of recording this because Jay needs to send them to me and I have to edit them. I am so when I edit them, I'll remember things and then talk to Jade about it. J Jade, Jay, I was just talking to Jay. You, now wait, to Jay. I know that I'm not Jade, and you're really upset about it and wish that that was your co-host, but I'm okay, okay. No, Jay, you're a great co-host. That's that's not I true. Just, that's, I, I, I know, Jay. I get it, I get it. It's fine, you know. Jay, it's, Jay and Jade are, sound very similar, and also the word Jade is currently on my screen. So, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's totally what it is. <laughs> it says answer Jade. Very screen. convenient, okay. Ian. Listen. I didn't write this, okay? <laughs> All right, Rose is going to answer. I'm going right, to... No. We need to stop ranting. Um, okay, Rose hmm. and Jade need to talk now. All right. Uh, do you want to be uh, Rose or Jade? Which do you want to be? I don't know. I like, I, I like both of these characters. You get to pick, because I don't really have a preference. Um, fine, I'll be Jade. That's what I thought. <laughs> you say you don't have a preference, but every time it comes down to this, you always pick Jade. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, because, 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 I don't know. That's what I thought. Um, Listen. Sorry for the delayed response. Answering seems to be what, what, answering seems to be what to do right now. Oh my god, that was worried so weirdly. That was, jeez, finally. You sure seem to be absorbed in whatever you're doing on that computer. Are you talking to someone? Oh, right. I forgot to, I gave you the code for the crystal ball. And here I was thinking I could safely de delay responding to messages without seeming like an ass, the way it usually works. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. I don't blame you for not responding. You must be very upset. Are you okay? Why would I be upset? Um, because, uh, I figured you would have found out by now, but I guess you still don't know? Know what? About John's dad and your mom, Rose. Hello? Oh, no. She didn't know. Oh, God, Rose didn't know. But now she does. Dude. Oh, no. Also, I just realized my Jade voice and my Nepeta voice are, like, the same. Oops. They are. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're both green. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. Rose. Rose, please say something. You're making me nervous. I should have gone looking for her. Why didn't I? Um, because you were busy trying to make the best of the situation? John was, too, but he went to look for his father. It would have been normal of me. I can't remember what I was trying to prove anymore. I don't think you should be so hard on yourself about it. John was being John, and you were being you, which I guess meant ta taking your problems very seriously and putting out your attention to solving them. And anyway, you and your mom had a much trickier relationship than John and his dad, didn't you? I mean, not that I'm saying that that, I, that means you're any less attached to her than him. Oh, I don't know if I'm very good at consoling people. Sorry, Rose, I don't want to make you feel worse. You're doing fine for someone raised by a dog, or really, anyone. Thanks. Oh, uh, okay. You know, now we have all now we have all lost guardians. Dave lost his, and I lost mine in a weird way. Um, even though it was pretty much definitely my fault. And even the trolls all lost their monster guardians. I think that maybe it's a little part of the game that can be cool sometimes. That is an interesting point. Yeah, every guardian that the the kids have had, whether it be a troll or a human, is now dead. Think about it. Dave's bro, murdered. Yeah. The two parents, murdered. Beck, murdered. Uh, well, Beck, I mean, technically Beck died because he was resurrected, but not really resurrected. It was like the moment that he touched the Colonel Sprite, he was killed and then revived, like Dave Sprite. Exactly, but, um, you know, and then all of the trolls' guardians were murdered. Yeah, all the trolls of the Sai were killed and most of them prototyped. Yep. crazy. It's kind of dark. That's why I never want to play Spur, because, you know, I kind of like having the one parent I have. I'm, I almost said parent, but then I realized... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I really need to stop, like, using dad jokes as a crutch. Um, continuing. For some reason, despite all the danger, I never thought she was in any trouble. I never believed she would actually die. I grew up with the feeling that something more significant had always been meant for her. That she was a heroine displaced in some way, resigned to the to the inglorious duty of raising me and preparing me in her way. I didn't actually need the ectobiological verification that she was like a mother and a sister at the same time. I always understood that somehow. Okay? That's kind of creepy, but that's fine. And I felt she had knowledge and ability beyond what she let on. It was always intimidating, but nonetheless a source of respect, which was childishly begrudging on my part. I think she was just waiting for me to catch up with her, but now I can't. I'm so sad. Rose... I think you're being stronger about it than I am. Probably because my emotions have now ceded to anger. This shouldn't have happened. Oh, well, I just hope you aren't thinking of doing something rash. I already was. I was going to go to sleep, fly to a sun bigger than our universe, drop a bomb in it, and kill myself. Jesus! Yeah, like her dream self. That's still messed up. Yeah... So, if my course of action is to change on account of my mood, it can only become less impetuous, don't you think? Er, I don't know. You never liked my plan very much anyway. Well, no, but I was trusting that you had thought it through and it was her best hope. I'm not sure if I did. Maybe it was a terrible plan. I made it without a full understanding of the nature of the scratch. Hmm, then what will you do? I could stop being so cowardly for once. I could short-circuit this endlessly expanding game of chess for playing, just like Jack decided to do. What does that mean? Maybe I'll go ch kill Jack myself, right now. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Rose, that is a much, much worse plan. He would probably kill you. <clears throat> probably. Scratch will wipe us out anyway and reboot the conditions of our session. Suddenly don't feel right much like sneaking through the back door of the furthest ring for attribution by distant supernova. I know what you mean. I was angry at Jack and wanted to stop him too, but we have to think of a more sensible way to do it. Whether my existing plan was sensible or not, I may have been allowing myself to be manipulated by an omniscient being regardless. What? Who? Hello, Hello ladies. ladies. Oh, you can be, you can be Jack Scratch. Ah, uh, what? This is a private conversation. Private even to those who know it word for word already. Proceed. I will be here. Watching. Rose, who's this? Ignora. I don't even think... I, don't, I didn't even know what's going on anymore. You were discussing Miss Lalonde's intrepid new variation on su uh, suicide. As one with a passion for the subject, I'm intrigued. Shh. What the fuck? <laughs> um, anyway... Anyway, if it's true the gods have selected me for service, maybe the power they've given me will be sufficient. Maybe they wanted him, wanted me to kill them all along. Hee hee. You know, I've gotten to the point where I just don't select the white text anymore. It's probably really bad for my eyes, but I just read it without selecting it. I'm going to start <laughs> selecting it because I'm. it's actually hurt my eyes a lot the last time because I didn't oh. do it. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and it's probably better to select it if you're doing it on, on, like on video, too. So. True. All right. <laughs> Shh. Please don't, Rose. I know you're angry, but you aren't thinking straight. But I am. I'm fully aware I'll probably die and fail. Scratch happens. We start fresh. No recollection. No problem. No. Jade is an ambassador of Skya. Maybe you'd be willing to talk some sense into your friend? You should understand she's been corrupted by various entities with some rather questionable motive motives. Rose, maybe white text guy is right? The Dark Gods gave you all these powers and seem to be helping us with dream bubbles and stuff, but what if they're not actually good? They're enormous, they're enormous, ugly, and live in darkness. That doesn't necessarily make them bad. No, but I still don't trust them. If only th there were a way to make this determination with certainty, through a reliable source within reach, for instance, at this exact moment. Perhaps one that is spherical and devastatingly handsome. What's this weird you're talking about? The cue ball. Oh yeah, I noticed you found it. I was worried it had been destroyed when my room blew up. Oh, it is—it is actually Jade's cue ball. Yep. Is he say, is he uh, is he saying you can use it? Yes, and he's right. Well, gee, does it work? It advised me to talk to you just now, so I guess so. Then maybe you should try it. Yes, Rose. Listen to Jade. She's far less manipulative than I. <laughs> what are you, what are you suggesting I ask it? Well, since we don't know much about the gods, why don't you ask it about them? So you're saying I should ask it if the gods are evil? I guess that's one way to put it. Even though at this point neither of you is highlighting my text to read it, this idea gets my vote. Go ahead, ask Seer. <laughs> Seer, ask. <laughs> way to call me out, Doc Scratch. Damn. Ooh. This isn't even S page. Oh. Well, I guess that means there's just no sound. But it's still an animation. Yep. Flashes in on her eye. This is like the Jade Wake Out panel. It is. But it's headed towards the blue triangle instead of nothing. Yep. What's the goodness say? No comment. Imagine. What the fuck? Oh. It just flashed a bunch of random words and then... And then to Rose. I, I totally should buy a cue ball and just call it a magic cue ball. Wait. That's Equius's... Yeah, but that's Kanaya. Because Kanaya was wearing Equius's glasses last time. That's one of the few things I Oh, remember. yeah. Shit. Um, and that is where... Um, that is the exact moment where Rose blacked out. Mm-hmm. And that Kanaya couldn't see Rose anymore. Yep. Rose go dark. Rose go dark. You slip into the fabled Black Death trance of the uh, Wogothics, quaking all the while in the blood uh, blood eldritch throes of the bro brood fester tongues. You advise the members of your complacency not to be alarmed, as they chronicle the event in tomes. 
bound in the tanned, writhing flesh of a tortured hell scholar, with runes stroked in the black tears bled from the corruption-weary eyes of 50,000 imaginary occultists. But they failed to not be alarmed. Interesting. This is because, Jeez. as is now a painfully obvious to anyone with a brain, you've basically gone completely off the deep end in every day, every way. You've officially gone grim dark. Ro grim dark. Rose, resist urge to seek revenge. You make a half-hearted attempt to resist the urge. She's gonna oh do it anyway. Boy. Alas, one is not easily shaken from a br the brew fest your tongues. I don't know. Oh god. Rose, you're an idiot. Oh my god. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not an idiot, but you're a... Uh, you're a very a vengeful. rash decision maker. Oh god. There are stubborn throws. Big man requests timeout. Who's big man? Big, big man! Oh my gosh. Hey, I'll turn you bound. God damn it. All right, homies, everybody, all y'all, hold up. The big man wants to take a time out. Also, I'll turn you bound. I know, like, this whole comic is, like, refer like references Earthbound a lot, and it's inspired by Earthbound, but, like, I'll turn you bound. Earthbound. Huh. Big man reaps some <laughs> havoc. All right. So is big man a character from Sweet Bone Hello Jeff? Is that what this is supposed to be? Yeah, look at him. Yeah. The big man's about to wreck, wreck some havoc in the yard. The... Court is on fire. The Amethyst ruler. Dude, come get the ruler. Check this out. Dude, hurry. Look, she's escaping from above. Okay, dude, no. Okay, how am I going to wreck some havoc in the yard with a meter, you chump ass? <laughs> Wait, what? AR? That's it. No, that's AR and that's W. Yeah. That's weird. Because, you know, WV's got uh, his trust knife, right, uh, on the, the, the meter. But the thing is, right, is uh, he <laughs> was talking about yard. And WV's got a meter stick. And the yard and the meter are similar, but definitely different. <laughs> God damn it. It's great. God damn it. Great humor. 10 um, out of 10. ten uh, uh, 69 out of 69. Again with the metric system. What is it even with you and <laughs> units, man? It's like you must be token up and on a joint to make you st stone, stone or something. I can't think of who leaves all these rings lying around. God damn it! It is so infuriating. Shit. Where's the manor? What does that say? Dude, no. Let me show you. No. Eight point five fifty six centimeters. <laughs> Fuck no. Dude, you gotta snap it broke ways. Snap it broke ways. Snop. Snop. God fucking oh, damn no. it. Oh no. Splimpers. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it's, it's splimpers. <laughs> it's at this point when you get distracted by the author's hot self-insert. <laughs> what are you expecting? The, like the Easter Bunny? You probably want to know how involved the big man wants to get in the story. How much will he fuck? Uh, uh, sorry. Fuck cock. Fuck cock. This up. Fuck cock. Well, all. Uh, <laughs> well, all. If I got to to thap is all I got to say to thap is. Wolf want to know. <laughs> Wolf I want to know. know. Tell me and please be <laughs> smug about it. Oh my god. Oh my all fuck. Right. <laughs> See, those with self insert grows in frequency. You may find yourself increasingly afraid that, may, that my direct interference with canonical events approaches ine inevitability. But you should understand that I understand that I am dealing with forces which, if handled recklessly, will nullify the basic ability of intelligent beings in all real and hypothetical planes of existence to give a shit. It would be stupid of me to mismanage these forces, and even stupid of you to worry about it, because it would be stupid for you to think that I was stupid. In fact, I feel a little dumber just thinking about it. When the time comes, I will interact directly with the events of this narrative, but this moment will be responsibly confined to a passive intervention. It will be compact, surgical, and essential. My involvement will have such precision, I have even managed to quanti uh, quantify it in units of physical measurement. I will be involved in only the narrow corridor of space through which light will pass in three nanoseconds. My window of influence, end to end, will be exactly one yard. Okay, anyway, let's get back to John. <laughs> John looking at Tumor, Jesus Christ. Oh god, so another many, animation. So many soundless animations. The Tumor, aka the big bomb at the core of 
I'm assuming it's the core. Big bomb. Big yin and yang. Yee. Ha. John, look around. I'm kind of disappointed by the fact that there was the black and the white section, but not the white and the black section. Hey, you got air of breath. Yep. Simple. Open, we got light and... Oh, okay, go back one. So that's the uh, breath and on the left, and on the right, that's space. Yep. That's jade simple, and I know that because the next panel, I do definitely recognize the left as the seer, or the right as the knight. Yep. Because the, yeah, the left is also Therese symbol. Yeehaw. And the right is also the, um, uh, um, jeez, a radius symbol. Yep. John, look inside. Ooh, look inside this, the, 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 the tumor. His eyes are just like, what? <laughs> Oh, okay. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Fuck! 1025. God fucking damn it. John, take tumor. You don't oh. want a tumor, John. <laughs> he just caps <laughs> yeah, yeah, capture logs of the tumor. <laughs> I love how he uses the wallet now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the wallet is the best fetch modus. John, return to service. You fit a whole car in there. Yeah, but technically with any fetch modus you could. Yeah, but like, the car would be buried between other pointless objects. Shh! Shut up. The wallet seems to let you um, retrieve and, and store things in any order. Yeah. Which is very convenient. Club's deuce, approach locals, or courtyard droll. Oh. You and your rabbit friend approach a gentleman wrapped in a fine white cloth and his courageous cohort, a young man riding a great gust of wind. You're so impressed you forget what you're supposed to be doing. John, reunite with Liv Tyler. God fuck. Oh my god, that was the name he like randomly threw out about that mechanical bunny. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Sweet, precious, beautiful Liv Tyler. You thought you'd lost her forever, just like Bruce Willis did when he blew himself up with a nuclear bomb in the center of the asteroid the size of Texas. His heroism and fatherly pride were also the size of Texas. But your love for Liv is not fatherly. Oh no, this reunion is with no loving daughter but with a loving movie star fantasy crush who happens to be have been given as a gift in five separate occasions, <laughs> twice by you and thrice to you, and originally fished out of a sewer by Nicolas Cage on the silver screen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you forget the point that you were supposed to be making. <laughs> and be in the form of a robot bunny which has traveled through time and been given to it as a gift on five separate occasions. Oh my god. Right. God fucking damn it. Oh, we, I just skipped a line, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that's why I said Oops. that, so that we could at least yeah. not have some acknowledgement. But you wonder I'm where sorry. all of her sweet wep weapons went. <laughs> that is a good question. It's a very good question. She indicates in the language of plush toy pa uh, pantomime that she has no idea. They all blew away in the... Breeze, Duke. Yep. John retrieved Tiny Hammer. This tiny hammer is so ridiculous. It's too bad it's not the right size. You would love to well up some imps with such a fanciful weapon. You guess you could go around giving them little bops on the head with it, like a silly gavel. No, that would be too absurd, even for a great prank prankster like you. You'll discard this rubbish immediately. Hold on, you can totally size that up with your alchemeter. That's besides the point. Wait, what is this? Miss Tyler is handing you a note. Oh. John Reed note. Okay. John, one more thing. Hold on. This rabbit, I'm sure you've noticed, is armed to the stitches. He's got all, <laughs> all four of the funny little weapons I mentioned that that are all deadly as the fucking Dickens. But that doesn't mean that they're meant exclusively for the paws of Mr. Terry Kisser. Kisser. It's the name I call him. Heck no. No, that's not the uh, right name. It's Liv Tyler. <laughs> God damn it. Right. You see, I adopted Terry with some doodads that you may deem practical. An infinitesimal eater, which I used to littleify them down in the first place, as well as a monster to fire for when you would happen to like uh, to huge them up and wield them yourself. Uh, he surely got enough juice in him to make them enormous if you wish. But that's silly. Uh, what would what you would even do with, it, with, say, a magic needle the size of a skyscraper, for instance? Preposterous. I borrowed this technology from my grandmother. Oh boy. Uh, grandmother. Who had quite the way with manipulating space. Legend tells she was something of a witch with this stuff. Yeah, because this is the pen pal that they were talking about, how apparently was revealed to be Jade's, like, 
Jade is the pen pal's grandmother somehow. Yep. Remember that? Yep. That was weird. So which with the stuff, huh? Which is space. Uh, once she was a brave hero like you, and I, and, and I, John, and the stars themselves twinkled in our cauldron. I would like to tell you who my grandmother is. I really would, but I can't. I think I have uh, trouble keeping secrets. I honestly, uh, I like to be honest, just like you, and a lot of secrecy after a while. Keeps me feeling a bit jaded. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> Green means grill, red means drink. See you soon, pal. J. So who the fuck is this? Me. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you Jade's grandson? Granddaughter, actually. Um. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's besides the point, though. I don't know why. I don't remember doing this. I think I blacked out or something. I think I got too much of that cocaine I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and, and, like, I just completely just forgot about everything. I don't know. That's definitely what happened. Shut up. Grandmother? You wonder who that could be? Probably just Jade, what with all the time she had against. <laughs> yep. <laughs> John Huge and Hammer. <laughs> Huge and Hammer. Hi! Wow. Ooh. Yes. More Hammer of Zilly Who. One zillion fucking grist. Some kind of grist, yeah. S. All S. behold glory of Zilly Who. That's behold the glory of Zilly Who, Jay. Hold glorious. God damn it. Let's do it. Gotcha. Got a popper flash. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Yes. No. It's gonna be your favorite for my playlist, isn't it? <laughs> That's not okay, dude. Come on. Oh my god, John singing. This is fascinating. Look at John I singing that. Yeah. <gasps> what? No. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Who else is holding that hammer? Gamzy. That was Gamzy symbol. That's what I thought. It does look like something Gamzy's held before, though. Like, it seems clown I mean, it's, it's... Yeah. Huh. Alrighty, then. We're so delighted by your rad new hammer and the cool, huge new abilities of Liv Tyler or Terry Kizzer or whatever his or her his name is. Uh, who the hell is Terry K Kizzer anyways? Probably from probably a movie star from the future. Who cares though? But first of all, um, probably not a movie star from the future, considering all of humanity but you four are dead. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> who cares though? Your buddy will be live for life. Ha ha ha! Hearts, 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 hearts. Well, what other neat things you can get Liv to mon monstrosify, monstrosify with the, her sweet eye beams? Wait, what happened to her green eye? Why is she feverishly gesticu gesticulating toward the fellow in the ghost sheets? So ridiculous. You cannot turn your back on these people to admire a beautiful hammer for even one moment. I think that is enough fooling around. It is time to get down to business again. The serious business of being an important and heroic leader. John, wear the hood. Be the God leader. Remember W if you... Uh, Thinks the color green is tasty. Yeah. No! <laughs> God damn it. You are not their leader. You are their friend. There is a big difference. You prepare to issue your uh, your party a highly authoritative series of friendly requests. Friendly requests. Dude, look how like badass he looks. Look at the sideways symbols. Look how badass he looks. He really does. Everyone's freaking out. CD. CD's got a club. First, oh, wow. you request that everyone settle down. The squat fellow mediates between the two bickering parties and patches up Liv's missing eye. She's nothing if not accustomed to decade to repair work, and quickly resumes her plucky demeanor. Unfortunately, Courtier Droll's gonna die at some point because he was one of the... We saw him die, right? We did in that intermission, we did. No, but, um... Maybe I was completely wrong. I think I'm completely wrong. I don't think we saw any of the in the in the human universe. Yeah, I don't think we did in the human universe. But like I said, in the intermission, we saw him yeah. die. That we might saw be Clubs what Deuce die. We did that not might see be Courtyard Joel die. That might be what you're thinking. Well, I was thinking of um, him blowing up in one of the uh, exile stations in the Troll universe. I don't know. All right. 
Uh, you then, in, in your most literally way, ask Liv to pilot that enormous battleship. She will now be known as Captain Ty- Tyler. Captain Tyler. She little fires the ship down into something more manageable for a small bunny captain. Everyone is impressed. You give your wallet to your lawyer, loyal chauffeur familiar. He looks puzzled. You inform the party that you will not be going on this journey. You must remain behind and continue looking for your father. No! Uh, uh, no! <laughs> but you insist their mission is the most critical of all. You know they can handle it. You believe in them. You instruct Captain Tyler to set a course for the ship's home. They must fly to Durst and deliver the tumor to the moon. Everyone salutes their interpreted friend li- leader. This is what teamwork's all about. God damn it. Friendship is magic, my little pony. Um, <laughs> and this guy. Guess this guy can go along and help out? Hey, who you, you even is this guy anyway? Guess it doesn't matter. He seems nice enough. John bid <laughs> farewell. Oh, God. He's only, you know, Jack Noir's, like, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Godspeed, heroes. You have all the faith in, in the world that they will be successful. As a friend leader, or sometimes known as a pal honcho, God damn it. It. you have done an amazing job. You have come up with a plan and politely request ordered your loyal team to execute it. It is all falling into place perfectly. You are quite sure you have not failed to account for even a single thing. So, I, I think this is alluding to CD not being on their side? Is that what's happening? Maybe. John, I'm so worried about Rose. I'm pretty sure she's on her way there to look for Jack. I, I, I can't say for sure anymore because I can't see with my goggles anymore for some reason, but I'm fearing the worst. Just in case, you should try to intercept her before she does something stupid, like try to fight him. Also, um, I guess you probably still don't know about your dad yet, do you? Turn. why do I always have to be the one to break terrible news? Her, John? She's like, I'm actually looking for my dad. Do you know where he is? Oh, he looks so happy. Oh god, please don't tell me your computer was in the wallet. You just gave that guy. Damn it, John. <laughs> Damn it. One of these days you'll learn the value of having plenty of backup computers. Like a, like a what, sane person? Like a reasonable person would do? I thought his glasses were computers. It might have changed when he, like, roast a god tier or something. Maybe his outfit was set or whatever. That's upsetting. All right. Continuing. Yeah. In fact... Uh, whenever you finally leave the battlefield, I'm going to give you the code for a nice pair of lunch muffs, and then I'm going to force you to keep them on your head at all times. Yeah, you're never going to read this, are you? Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. Run. Run. Run, 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 Something's run, happening run. on the other side of the planet. Something ominous. Something grimdark. Oh, you're yeah, so glad that grimdark is a real word, so that when things like this happen, they may describe this guy such. Maybe your mm-hmm. dad is over there. I believe you will investigate. John, approach Grim Darkness. I oh, know. Rose is headed towards John's dad and Rose's mom's bodies, probably, right? Yep. Oh, Seer Descend is such an ominous page title. Yep. John, you're heading to the, into the blackout, so I won't be able to see you until you leave. But don't worry, I still can sense you're there, because of awesome powers, remember? Smooth move, ditching your computer like that, by the way. That was some incredible leadership you showed. Now, I have to contact you through Rose, thus exposing me to the risk of actually having to talk to her. You're careless. My carelessness has put the heroes of light in a very awkward position, John. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Just kidding. She's obviously a little too preoccupied at the moment to be sassing me. Just borrow her computer and talk to me when you get the chance, okay? I'll be waiting. See your descend. Oh, God. That's so ominous. Oh, there's no volume control on this page. Oops. I have to just back out of it so it doesn't... Interesting. Change. This is an interesting track. Uh-huh. That's her blood. And it's raining. It's grimdark storming, probably. I don't think it's real rain. I know, but it's some Rose type of storm. This. Yeah. Rose is about to kill everything. Imagine if Rose just kills Jack and, you know, there you go. It's literally like a decapitation. (laughs) New arc. New plot arc. (laughs) Rose becomes the bad guy. Yep. (gasps) Her shirt's glowing just like Kanaya was. God, it's so fitting that she has the squiddle on her shirt because, like, the squiddles are, like, kind of, like, representative of the... the, Oh, God. Wait. 
Wait, can I? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. It's John's dad without the hat. There's no one, no sign of Jack up here. It must be somewhere in the castle. Look, he doesn't have his hat on because Jack took it. Oh, I can't interact with anything. She's just focused on Jack. She can't look at any of the things. She's like, Jack is going to pay. Make him pay. S make her pay. Isn't that a thing? Make him pay. Make him yeah, pay. Make her pay was the the Act 5, Act 1 finale. Where <gasps> among other things are That's a dead person. Riska. But I can't it's interact a with dead Prospitian agent. I hate that I can't interact with any of these things. Prospitite. Prospitite. Oh my god! Jesus that guy's Christ. fucking dead. Um, <laughs> decapitated. <laughs> All right, bitch. All right. Oh, no. It's always the black guy. Sorry. Um, continuing. Actually, two of them are white. Just saying. Da Why do you have to make it about race, <laughs> Ian? No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> All right, continuing. Because if we keep talking about race, we're gonna get canceled on Twitter. Um, do 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 do. These windows are progressively uh, looking more glitchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot more white people than black people. Did. So this, well, cause I think this is a Presbyterian castle, considering the the like flags. I actually think it's like a, a lost Castlevania level. Right. Shit. Exam Those bookshelves book look straight out of RPG Maker. 2003. <laughs> Foot Soldier's Guide to Combat. Most of the diagrams in this book were involved with soldiers advanced by a single title. Tile. Tile. You either straight ahead or di diagonally when lunging with a weapon. No wonder these guys are so easy to count. Bonds. But let's Checks. make sure it's the same thing. Journey to the center of the battlefield. Go ahead. Dashing young man. Looks to be a fairy tale for youngsters. The hero is a dashing young man in the blue hood. He heals the planet from within, but can do nothing to stop its annihilation from above, nor its soon to follow eradication from reality. It must be sad growing up in a culture whose mythology centered almost completely around futility. Oof. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the forces of light are destined to lose the war, right? That would lose the light castle. You find an ancient, unlabeled tome and read an excerpt. Though we adore him, we shall never enjoy his beauty as croak. We spill our blood on acres of white, black and white, so the reflection through blokes and glass, you may find the pond which he meant to squat. Wait, I mi miss a line. We spill our blood on acres of black and white, so they may cross the yellow yard. At last, in the sky, it's reflection through broken glass, you may find the pond in which he's meant to squat. That is Billy is slick. Yep. <laughs> or the speaker, or the speaker of the vast croak. This is a book on theoretical physics and complex spatial geometries based on the hypothetical... Wait, sorry. Let me try that again. <laughs> uh, hypothetical addition of orbs to the Queen's Ring. Oh. Yep. The shapes in the diagrams are very complex. This sort of nonsense is regarded as crack pottery at best. Why would the Queen ever wear more than four orbs? Four towers, four orbs, four heroes. This is a sacred truth. Well, technically, in the Trolls universe, there's twelve. Yep, already have that. And... Advanced frog breeding for beginners. Difficulty level extreme. For idiots! <laughs> Like advanced pottery for idiots. Tro is that? Wait, what is that oh. trophy? What was that? It looked like bro's glasses, but I might be just overthinking it. Oh, I I, I wasn't paying attention to the same idol. It bears an inscription: "Our glorious speaker." Oh, the vast croak. His head was lopped clean off with some sort of sharp sword-like object. Someone around here sure must hate frogs. You wonder who it could be? Probably Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Frog Let's head. pretend it wasn't Jack. It's a little bit more fun. <laughs> you suppose you would you could easily remove the obstacle, that, but that would spoil a perfectly good opportunity to look for secret passage. God damn it! More books. Her hands are in my service, but they are still but they still shake. They unfasten the first button at my royal gown's waist clumsily. <laughs> God damn it! This this is about a fan fiction written about the queen in the first person. This doesn't belong in this library. This doesn't belong anywhere. <laughs> More books. You really have better things to do than read a lot of books written by chess guys. Books, books, books. 
Data structures for assholes too. Now we're in to accommodate the shortcomings of the mentally retarded. God Jesus damn it. Christ. Grimoire for summoning the two logically dubious. It's apparently on loan from the Jester site library. It seems unlikely to be returned at this point. <laughs> oh, we'll be back for that. Yep. You think you know what you might, what you might find on the shelf? Just a hunch. Books. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Rise the Slayer, a horror story meant to scare children. No! Writers of prosperity and fiction tend to t write what they see in clouds, hence their fables tend to be events which simply haven't happened yet. Happened in another realm. They like to use the word fiction so that kids don't get too scared. The Rise the Slayer, Sovereign Slayer is what Jack called Wait. himself. Problem soon. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You've been meaning to read this one. Absolutely required reading for any promising young seer who has blundered through entanglement with the occult through the absurd sequence of events. No, there's, you got a trophy. There's John's dad's hat. I'm just gonna look around and see if there's anything else we're missing. Yep, of course there was. Oh, there's a living prospecting open chest. Got a trophy. That's the oh, scarf. No, it's Rose's. It's Rose's mom's scarf. Talk to Schult soldier. Prospecian. Prospidian? He is too frightened to speak. Is it? Okay. He seems to be indicating that the only reason he survived this massacre was hiding behind this pillar. Thank God for. Thank goodness for pillars. Damn. Yeah. Alright, so I think we've looked at everything here. Yeah. Damn. I think someone told me it was Prospecian. Not I sure. can't tell if I like Prospecian or Prospidian more. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Ooh. It's a meteor. Let me meteor chunk. <laughs> this is a deep treasure. How is this treasure? God damn it. Oh. You got the banner of the villain. You suddenly Blaine. feel inspired. In a generally rebellious, united sort of way. That's the flag in, in WV Rise Up that uh, the war weary villain, aka yep. WV Rose. Dursit. Dursit. She's apparently swooning over a hero of lore shared by the two kingdoms, a great man who united opposing sides against this tyrannical king. The revolt ended in tragedy, of course, which is typical of their foe titles, but it is no less inspiring. WV. Prospidian. She's a little fluttered about a legendary hero, some guys war, uh, weary of war, uh, and apparently a simple farmer, handsome and brave. You think you're beginning to fall in love with them too? <laughs> God. Be Beep. Seems to be relieved that he and a handful of fellow soldiers have found a secret hideaway to escape the bloody rampage. Maybe if they regroup and marshal all their remaining forces, they can take this guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. God damn it. Pospidian. She looks scared and confused. There's nothing left to do but hide. Hmm. The fellow is mourning a dead. He has probably lost many friends today. Uh. Oof. First she was frightened when you barged in here, and then briefly excited and now disappointed. He must have thought you were the great Dark Kingdom's defector. Come to save them. Alas, it was only a spooky girl with magic wands. Oh, look, they've got the, the Prospect Enters flags. Oh my god, I'm not. Do I have to. You're sick of reading, gotta find Jack. Okay, I'm assuming all of them say that. Yep. Yeah, cool. That makes me happy. Yeah, me too, because I did not want to have to <laughs> read every single one of those. Just besides the point. Just making sure I couldn't go left. Oh, um, hmm. Yeah. Alright, down the steps. Transportalizer, what else is in here? Same as slain beast. Never seen some anything so sad in your entire life. A beautiful muscular man stallion struck down in his prime. What monster could be responsible for this deed? Hint, Jack Noir. <laughs> God damn it. No, I thought it was risky. Whose footsteps are these? These have to be Oh shit. Then he... Wait, wait, try to go use the transportalizer. I will, but first I'm gonna look around. Well I feel like this is the right way to go. Which the transportalizer is, or no? I don't think the transportalizer is the right way because we saw Jack that way. Something's blocking yeah, it from yeah, the other side. Go. Just checking. Are we gonna keep? I don't. We can try to keep going, right? Yeah. Nothing there. At least we tried. All right. 
Yep, I had a feeling this was the right way, so I wanted to make sure that there wasn't another way. Ooh, big curtain. Open curtains. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> God. Wow. Open curtain. <laughs> Second curtain. Is there going to be seven? If there is, I'm going to be really upset. Because there's like, what, seven gates? Three. And four. Five. Six. There were only oh, six. Oh, you know what it was? It was Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, Act 5, and Act, act, five, act 1, Act 5, Act 2. Maybe. Damn. Because I noticed the fifth ones were blue and red, which was Act 5, Act 1, and Act 2. God damn it. Get him, Rose. Oh, look. Transportalize. Giant record. Hmm. Oh, there's a green one now. Yep. A couple Ooh, of green the Act six, uh, Are the Act 6 uh, curtains going to be green? Yep. Did Hussey plan this out this far? Good question. Oh, God. This is where you transportalize to. Awesome. Oh, jeez. Hi, Rose. Wow, I did not expect to find you here. Wait. N near boy like... <laughs> what? Also, why are you all gray like that? You look weird. Greg Fibbs Mersh Uh... Greg Fibbs Mersh Rose, I can't understand a word you were saying. There's a lot silly speaking, gobbledygook. <laughs> Wait, I know what's going on here. It finally happened. You've gone grimdark. Told you, Rose. I warned you about... What do you call them? The Broodfester Throats? It's okay, Rose. Don't worry. We will find a cure for your stubborn throws. I'm still trying to find our parents. I thought my dad might have to come to the castle to check that out. Check out that huge black rain cloud. You see Sean, the cloud, Rose? It's pretty awesome. Rose don't have made it. Since the girl drift shit off that. What? You sound kind of upset. What is this, Rose? Jim thought the drop just off that. Wait, are you talking about our parents? Oh man, you mean they're here? Shit off the girls faint off the she all told. Are you saying they're in trouble? Oh no, Rose, we have to go help them. That's not... <laughs> yes, I'm frustrated too, but there's no time for such lamentations. Do you think you can find them again? Shrug it. Shrug it. <laughs> Great, I can't wait to see my dad. It feels like it's been forever since I saw him. Please lead the way, no. Rose. No, 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 no. 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 Remove aisle. No. Oh, this is going to transport all this back to the other one, yeah. Also, were there six green curtains? I think there were... Oh wait, John doesn't know. Nope. No, John. Yeah, Rose, pl what, what happened here? And then she goes... Was it Jack? Are you saying it was Jack, Rose? Is that Rose? Are you getting aggravated that I'm talking to you kind of like you are a dog? <laughs> My God, this is That's cool. a really nice pillow, by the way. Goes well with your weird dark oh skin God. and gothy ensemble. <laughs> is that the same pillow that, that she used to prop up? You will. That her mom used to prop up her like letter or whatever on the on the fridge. Like back, way back in Act like two or one or whatever. Yep. Oh shit, Jack! Knock, knock all this shit down. Oh no, he's been back here. Yep. Oh, there was a witch's space flag on that wall. That's a little... Or, or, or a witch flag on a certain... No, it's a space flag. Wait, now I'm very confused. Same. Oh, no, that's... A, okay, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I'm a moron. Um, it's, it's the, so John is the breath symbol. The sun is the light symbol. Uh, that was the space symbol, not the witch symbol. And then... Um, the last one that Arabia and Dave shared was not the night symbol, it was a time symbol, because Arabia is the maid of time. Yeehaw. I am just a moron. Uh, luckily, this is hopefully the same video still, even though it's going to be a long one. 
Uh, maybe in the, after hopefully the next page, as long as it's not another walk around. Yep. By the way, you know that car cat thinks we're supposed to get married. <laughs> Gorthich civil bubble Wait, I hope that didn't come come off as a proposal or anything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making a conversation. Guess I'm a little nervous. The second place is the first time we've ever met. And also, you are talking like an eldritch monster, so I'm kind of babbling. We don't actually have to get married, though. I mean, not if you don't want to. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll shut up now. Oh God, I was still was... joking like that with all these fucking dead bodies. Oh, oh my God, God, is that a dead body? All right, Jonas John. Let's look at oh, the next no. S. And then the next panel is gonna be John being like, "Oh no, Dad." I'm gonna no. Oh shit, and Jack's there. Oh god. This is Corral, uh, the Corral for Jaspers. This is the song. But it's like a, the same melody as. Yep. Oh. John. His eyes John's getting blue a little eyes. lighter. And Jack just sitting there. I'm preparing to fight Jack. Oh god. Oh no. Yep. That's about what I expected. Wait, is he dead? Oh no. Literally zero questions asked. Well, Rose, looks like you're not gonna have to marry John. Wait, is he get down for good? Oh no. Rose is pissed. Hell yeah. Watch this shit. Rose, she de decapitated him right here. <laughs> Please let that. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? How powerful is Grimdar? That's my question. Okay, we have to go to the next page, right? We can't just leave there. Or can we? Do, do we hate our audience that much? Oh, that's a good question, because we can see it like, in a couple minutes anyways. Okay. So it it leaves us that on our finger anyway. Here. Yeah, okay, cool. So, so Dave's going to have to answer answer in the next episode. Dave, this is bro, isn't it? This is bro? Bro's the one on the floor. Yeah, this isn't where bro originally died, though. Nope. Was it? I think it actually... I don't it might have been. It might have been, actually. I was thinking the whole line of heat and clockwork thing, but I think he was in the land of wind and shade. Yep. Alright, so Dave finally got to his brother. I wonder if this is in the past, or if this is, like... I mean, I guess time doesn't actually exist, really, at this point, but... I don't know where in the timeline this is. But I guess we'll figure that out next time. Yeehaw. Holy shit, so I, John is very likely actually dead now. I don't like that. Which probably won't last too long, considering the whole scratch thing. That's like rearranger stuff. Yep. So like John. Plus, dead, Dave can like dead. time travel and literally undo pretty much anything. It seems. Yeah, but I I, I kind of don't think this is a doomed timeline, other than the scratch nonsense. Fair enough. Because like yeah, Dave can can change things, but if he changes things, then that one or this one becomes a doomed timeline. Yep. All right. Well. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't tell if I enjoyed this. Oh God, guess what? What? Look at the date of this of this page. God, motherfucking damn it! Do you see the date? Yep. We're coming up on something. No. No. <laughs> We're gonna get to the four, the two year anniversary pretty soon. Oh no. I'm a little down. scared. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like that. Video. Please subscribe to the episode come out in the future. And we'll see you guys next time for more Homestuck. Uh, make sure you join the Discord in the meantime where you can talk to us and, uh, you know, let us know what's going on. It's always nice to have interaction. I've noticed people are slowly joining the Discord server and actually having some conversations in there, so it's actually pretty fun. I'd say come on down and talk to us. Uh, oh, come we'll on down, down whenever Jay actually decides to fucking pick up and te right. text up people on Discord, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then also follow our Twitter, which Jay is hopefully going to, at some point in the next couple of years, uh, start tweeting uh, more often. Um... <laughs> So make sure you're following yeah. us on Twitter so that yeah. you know when, when that happens. 
um, whether it be tomorrow or um, next year. But, like, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I love all of you beautiful and or handsome people, and hey, see you guys in the next one. I like what? to call myself a fabulous person, okay? Beautiful, handsome, fabulous, and or gay. All of the above. Um, you, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gay. not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, <laughs> no, gay is great. I like gay people. Gay is gay great. The best. <laughs> Gay. gay shit is the it's best gay. type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God damn it! Before I say something that's gonna get our can get us canceled, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, we'll oh see gosh. you next time. Thank you. Love y'all. Bye. Love you. Bye bye.